On which day of the menstrual cycle? That's the first question, 221. On which day of this menstrual cycle is the level of progesterone the highest? Remember, in this column, we're looking at the estrogen level, and in this column, we're looking at the progesterone um, level, level. So on which day is the progesterone level the highest? Let's see, 23, 0, 0, 0, 3, 12, 15. So the highest progesterone level um, is 15.0. I think it is the highest. The second highest one is 12.5. So it's 15.0 on which day? On day 20. Day 20, one mark. Okay, second question. 222, name the reproductive hormone that will begin to increase from day 24 of this menstrual cycle. The hormone that will begin to increase from day 24, there is day 24. Now let's analyze this table because we need to be able to understand what is happening in this table for us to know which hormone is going to increase so at day 24 we are having the progesterone level at 5.0 and i think the units that's nanograms per milliliter so at 5.0 but let's see what is happening so at day 20 um the progesterone level was at 15.0 so it was at its highest so this moved the level moved from 15.0 to 5.0 and in day 28, it's at 0 0.8. So what this is telling us is that the progesterone levels have decreased or are decreasing from day uh, 20. So they're decreasing from day 20 um, and they are at a very low level at day 28. Now, the hormone that will then increase is FSH. So the level that is going to increase from day 24 is actually the follicle stimulating hormone. And I'm sure they're going to ask us to explain why we're saying that. Now, 223 is saying we must use the data from the table to explain our answer to question 222. Why are we saying the follicle stimulating hormone is the hormone that is going to increase just um, from day 24? Now, this takes us back to understanding the negative feedback mechanism, guys. Remember, high levels of progesterone in the blood um, basically inhibit the secretion of FSH, right? So obviously prevent uh, the follicles or eggs being wasted. Now, what we are then having here, when the levels of progesterone starts to decrease, that is basically telling us that fertilization did not take place. Now, the follicle-stimulating hormone will then start to increase in order to ensure or to make one of the follicles to start enlarging. That is basically that for the next menstrual cycle. Because in this cycle, fertilization did not take place. So that means we are having the next cycle. So the perfect way to answer this would be to say that the progesterone levels, the progesterone levels, um, Are decreasing therefore therefore sorry F F S H secretion is no longer no longer inhibited okay high levels of progesterone in the blood inhibits the secretion of FSH. Low levels of progesterone in the blood um, basically allow FSH to be secreted, allows the pituitary gland to secrete FSH, okay? Because fertilization did not take place. So we need a follicle to start growing for uh, the next cycle. Two, two, four. It's a calculation for three marks. Yay, 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 yay. Calculate the percentage increase. Calculate the percentage increase in the estrogen level from day 8 to day 10. You must show all your working for three marks. Let me change my color. Use an orange. Okay, so we must calculate the percentage increase 
uh, in the oestrogen level from day 8 to day 10. Day 8 to day 10. These are the two days that we are focusing on and we are calculating a percentage increase. Okay, so we all obviously know this formula um, to calculate the percentage change, increase, decrease. So that is new minus, uh, that's the new value minus the original value divide by original multiplied by 100. So you obviously don't need to write this um, down, but yeah, I'm just writing it for those that don't know it. So then the, the new value would be for day 10, that is 20, I almost said 28, <laughs> 280. 280, that's the new value. Um, then the original will be for the day 8, so that's 280. They've said for oestrogen level, right? Okay. Um, then the original will be 70, divided by original, 70 multiply by 100. You put all of that in your calculator, you then get 300%. Okay. Cool, how is this marked, yo? Guys, I've been forgetting to show you how this answers would be marked. This is one mark, one mark. So here, are two marks, the progesterone levels are decreasing. One mark, one mark at the end. So this, how this is marked. So this is one mark, 100 is one mark then 300% is one mark. All right. Then 225, how would the progesterone levels differ after day 20 if this female was pregnant? Remember we said the female is not pregnant here yeah, because the progesterone levels are decreasing, right? So how would the progesterone levels differ after day 20 if this female was pregnant obviously the progesterone levels would do what guys will increase right if fertilization takes place the progesterone levels will increase if there is no fertilization progesterone levels decrease because the corpus luteum degenerates okay so that is simple so the progesterone levels will increase or you can even say well remain high that's fine last question explain what causes the change in the progesterone level stated in question 225 now explain what causes the progesterone levels to increase or to remain high um when a female or if this female is pregnant so if this female is pregnant we said that the progesterone levels are going to increase explain what causes the progesterone levels to increase now this takes us back to understanding the structure oh i'm looking at something else okay so this obviously needs you to remember the structure the corpus luteum right so in a situation whereby a female is a pregnant obviously fertilization would have taken place so when fertilization takes place the corpus luteum um, remains in the ovaries and does not disintegrate or does not degenerate. So the corpus luteum remains active and continues to secrete progesterone, hence the high levels of progesterone in the blood. Now, another structure that contributes to progesterone uh, levels being high in the blood or increasing uh, will be the placenta because when the placenta develops just after implantation it actually secretes hormone progesterone that obviously leads to the hormone progesterone levels in the blood increasing ah we're killing it guys we're killing it we oh, i can't use that word yo youtube must not take down my video okay we're cooking we're cooking we're cooking all right so explain what causes the change in the progesterone level stated in question 225 so the first reason would be the corpus luteum remains active. Remember, if fertilization has taken place, the corpus luteum is going to remain active. The corpus luteum remains active, or you can say does not disintegrate or does not de degenerate. It remains active and continues to secrete 
progesterone. Two marks for saying that. Remains active. That's the corpus luteum remains active and continues to secrete hormone progesterone. Or you could have said that the placenta develops the reason for high levels of progesterone or uh, progesterone levels increasing is because the placenta will develop after implantation and it is actually going to also secrete hormone progesterone. November 2024.